travel at 90 instead of 10, and which is prettier. Everybody out here builds on stilts, and almost every house looks new. So I'm gonna go with houses that were here before Katrina just aren't here anymore. So they built, build high, water to go underneath. Morning YouTube. Well, another day on the beach. Uh, this time I'm between uh, past Christian that way and Biloxi that way. I think it's like 20 miles to Biloxi and past Christian's like five miles back that way. But there's these pull-offs right off of 90. So it says no camping on the beach. It doesn't say anything about overnight parking. So I'm gonna give it a shot. Free campsite says, uh, says you can stay here. They never had a problem, but we'll see. Uh, um, but just, it's nice to look out over the Gulf and not have the wind blowing on me like it, like, whoops, like it was happening uh, back in Texas. So I'm just gonna enjoy the day here at the beach and then uh, keep on going. I should be in Florida tomorrow, theoretically. Last night's storm, I thought it'd be uh, wouldn't be a bad idea to show you, you know, how my solar system recovers. I was down to 86% um, on the batteries with the fans going all day and way into the night because it was very hot and muggy. And then um, <clears throat> the storm that came through cut off a lot of my solar. But it's uh, just before noon. I'm already up to 90%, and it's going to be going up faster. Um, I'm pulling in 17 amps right now. And if you've watched my other videos and you've saw me installing all this, um, this selector switch shows me what, how much is coming in from each panel. And um, this panel is the one right now, this is the, the rear one, which is the um, 180 watt panel. And it's bringing in, uh, looks like, only a couple of amps, but that new panel I put up, that 300 water, is pulling in um, about six amps. Now keep in mind, um, what's showing here is 12 volts going in. This is 24 volts from the panel. And if you do the math with the uh, way watts work, is uh, the volts uh, times amps gives you the watts. Um, well, when you convert from a, for like this case, you convert from a 24 uh, volts with 5 amps coming in, converts to 12 amps in at 12 volt. It basically um, doubles. As you half the voltage, it'll double the, the available amps. So I'm pulling in about 17 amps, and I expect by 3 hours from now, it'll be uh, about 3 hours. It should be fully charged. So um, putting on that, that 300 watt 
panel is definitely uh, definitely increased. Like I said, I can see I'm pulling in about six amps at 24 volts, and I'm pulling in. Morning, YouTube. Well, if you've been a, uh, a viewer of mine for a while, like a year ago, January, I was down here at this spot. Uh, guess from behind me, uh, with the barn, that this is the uh, Hickory Hammock uh, Equestrian Campground. It's a little bit south of Sebring, uh, middle of Florida. It's a, a nice staging spot for me. Um, so headed down into the Everglades. I'm going over along the coast. I've got uh, a friend that lives over there. I'm going to go visit her and her family and then get down a little bit closer before I dive down into the Everglades again, which I'll be sharing. Um, it's a nice place. You can camp in any of the designated spots. You do need a permit uh, to camp here up to eight days, but the permit's free. You can do it online. Um, Took all of a couple of minutes, and uh, it's you can actually pick the dates you're going to be here, so it'll let you know if it's going to be full or or whatnot. Uh, I stayed here, like I said, last year for uh, four days, I think. I'm going to be here just the just the two. Um, had a heck of a, a storm last night, and uh, there's a little taste of it. Nice Florida thunderstorm. Been hot, muggy all day. So, and this is six o'clock at night. When it's finally, finally broke and rolled through here, but it is coming down. And then uh, today, woke up, nice and sunny. Uh, you can. I'll show you how I was getting in uh, almost 18 uh, amps, charged the system right up a few hours, and uh, so everything's pretty cool. Uh, like I said, this is an equestrian campground, so if you uh, want to bring your horses in, there's trails, uh, there's the barn, there's a washing station over there. There is a, uh, the only amenities here, there's a, a dumpster for your garbage. And there is a shower. It's a cold shower because it's straight up out of the uh, out of the well, across and right up in. So the water that's in the pipes, you're going to get warm, and then it's going to get cold real quick. So uh, I did. I used it last year a lot, and uh, this year I'm the one on the bus is a lot nicer and like warmer. So, but they uh, they did get hit. You can see that there's some damage, some dead trees. Uh, when the hurricane came up through here, it came right up to central Florida, and uh, this being in the middle, man, it just tore through here, did some damage. Not major, I mean, the trees are still here. It's more like it knocked down a few limbs and a couple of little trees just couldn't take the, the beating. But uh, nice place, lots of open spots, and uh, if you ever get a chance, you know, you're in central Florida, you want a place to, to camp. Like I said, I believe it's for up to eight days. Um, but I don't know if there's a, a limit on how many times you can come back or how long you got to leave. Um, I'm not abusing it, so it's not a big deal. But anyway, uh, I'm going to get back on the road or relax for tonight, get back on the road. Um, tomorrow I'll go see my friend, and then uh, we'll head south towards the Everglades. So see you later, YouTube.